presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Window dressings and spades. Look at it, baby. Always do your best. Practice makes the master. By doing your best over and over, you can master the art of transportation. By doing your best, the habits of misusing your word, taking things personally, and making assumptions will become weaker and less frequent with time. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up to, uh, trading up 296, NASDAQ's up 261, S&P's up 53, gold contract down $23.10, trading at 1916 an ounce. We have silver off 27 cents, 24 dollars 92 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off a buck 54, 104 dollars 41 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 16 ticks, trading 122.07. 30 year up a full point plus three ticks at 148.23. And king dollar, king dollar is down 700 ticks, trading 98.391. Euro is 110. Yen is out here at 122.83. And the British pound is trading at 130 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, we have an ABC structure up in the S&P, an ABC structure up in the NASDAQ. And you talk about straight line moves, man. It's a straight line move. The, the ABC structure is a straight line moves. Now, what you have here also, folks, is this. Now, watch this. This is, this is how bizarre this is. On an ABC structure, A to B equals C to D. The A to B leg, okay, straight line move. Most times the B to C move, folks, is a huge consolidation, drives everyone crazy, goes back and forth, back and forth. My point is, in this particular case, it wasn't a consolidation. It was a slight pullback with an acceleration up again. Okay, so now what does that mean? Well, <laughs> It means a couple of different things. And this is going to be really intriguing watching how this shakes out. So the SPY right now is 59 million shares. Yesterday we did 58. So the SPY is going to do some real volume. We got window dressing. You got to remember that, okay? So this is the beginning of window dressing. This is going to go over, over to Monday. So you get volume coming in. We have a price projection of 478. And right now you have 461. 478 is almost the high. So what the S&P is telling me, actually, because, because we didn't consolidate much, this will blow some minds. This is going to, we'll see whether it's going to be a blow off top. But the bottom line, my take is that it's going to spike this top, meaning that it's going to make another all time high and really blow some minds. That's in the S&P. Now, NDX 100 is different. We, it's still in a, an ABC structure up, but it's in a mo much lower position when we do the A to B equals C to D. We are at 391, and I believe. Let me do it this way first. That's 390 right there. Okay, so this is cool. You can see, if you're watching Tiger TV, right, you can see where I put this line coming across. That's 390. And the projection is 391. So what I expect you're going to see is that as you see the S&P spike the high, this will try to get into the high. But you can see when you lay this out, man, 
you know, this is, it's saying that the NDX100 is not going to be able to basically bust this higher level. And it's gonna stop in its tracks when it gets into ice. This is actually ice, okay? Ice is where you basically consolidated for a bit and what ended up happening in, in the NASDAQ NDX100 from November 3rd going all the way over to January 5th, we were basically going back and forth. When we broke down, that was a major breakdown, okay? So it's gonna be really cool, you know, watching this um, and seeing how this baby shakes out. Uh, you know, intraday today, now this is where, if you really understand the ABC structures, and you, you know, the more that you do, the more you have confidence in the folks. So what happens is even, even intraday today, I was, I was like, oh, this is a trip. You know, they brought the market back intraday, but guess what? That's all that is. And when you take a look at it, you're gonna see how light the volume was on these pullbacks, man. Your first pullback this morning, you know, had some juice in it. That, that juice was, that was at 10.20, so watch this. At 10.20, that level came down, went into a swing point from earlier this morning. That had volume of 46 million, 46,000 contracts. Now watch this though. Then you went higher, then you came back down and tried to get lower with 21,000 contracts. Now what we're doing is that we're busting the highs. You had a high volume spike uh, at 46.23. We, we're gonna blow by it. That's, what, that's how this thing more than likely is gonna run coming into the close, okay? So it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild, there's no doubt about it. Um, okay, so. Let's go over to the gold contract because they did. They basically took this gold contract apart um, as the dollar was going lower. So GCJ, they pull this baby up, and what you're going to see is that you get 118,000 contracts, which is anemic contract volume, by the way, on the way down. We weren't having a lot of volume on the way up, but on the way down, that was anemic. And I suspect what we did, we broke the B point, and this could have been an ABC down, man. Okay. Uh, the dollar saved us. So you would go, you did 118,000 contracts going into uh, 195,000. Bottom line, not an ABC structure down. What you have, you get a rejection of lower price. You have light of volume, top side once again. Um, and this is still an ABC structure up with a 25 to 2600 number. Um, so <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild. There's no doubt about that. Um, Okay, so let's go, the, the, we had a question about looking at the diamonds and see if that's an ABC structure. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be today. So, well, we'll see. Diamond, the diamonds might not get the, get the volume, but I can do this another way. If the diamonds don't have the volume, you just wanna know whether the, when we come back, what I'll do is I'll, what you can do with the Dow Industrials, also, this is the way you should do the Dow, actually, not doing the DIA, because the DIA, it trades, but not as liquid as it should be. We'll do the volumes, the major volumes in the Dow Industrials. See where that swing point is. Dow Industrials right now up 307, Nasdaq's up 265, S&P's up 53. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are up at 304. NASDAQ is up 266. S&Ps are up 55. So inside the Dow Industrials, folks, what you have is this. And I suspect it looks like we're going to get the volume. So you break into B point today inside the Dow. That's how this thing would shake up. And then what you would do is you go back to the uh, 22nd uh, and take a look at what the volume was in the 22nd. Now, the volume on the 22nd inside the uh, NYSE uh, was... Uh, 22nd? Yeah, 22nd. Uh, 1.1 1, 1 million. 1.1 1 .1 billion. So we'll see whether we can get it. It's, it's not bad. Right now you're at 597 to 600. And that's early to be at that level. So we might get it. Inside the uh, IWM, the small caps, bottom line, you do have an ABC structure up. It's going to have the volume today. You break it, you're up $5.5. You're breaking the B point. Uh, that's a price projection of 219 in the volume of more than 24 million. We get 21. We're going to do it. So, you know, they're all, they're all cooking, man. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website, at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You just hit the, oh, I see. We put the Tigers then up. Oh, I got it. Okay, one second. You go into Newsletters, and you're going to see the opening call, folks, right on your left-hand side. You just hit that button. You hit Subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for a year for $593, which is... You get it for a year for eleven ninety five, dollars which is a savings of $593 or 33%. All come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. In Basil's case, he's got about 10 to 11 great webinars out there. You want to understand how to ride this wave, folks, and ride this market? Check it out. Great newsletter. Basil Chapman, what a trip, Hi, huh? <laughs> how are you? I'm doing good. Yourself? I'm good, you know, considering what happened in the in the two weeks that we've been looking at this since I uh, got a buy signal on the Dow down at about just under 33,000. Uh, this is remarkable. And as you know, in Chapman Wave, we're always looking for a buy signal to be upgraded to a buy mode. And that implies at least four higher peaks going to a, a leg D to a peak D. And here we are with a high today of 35,372. We're a little under that right now. Uh, the last high that was made back on January the 5th at 36,952 was a peak D. So I'm always very wary when we get there. 
But uh, one of the things that I, I, I think is quite fascinating is that you and I last week spoke about all the different divergences, positive and negative, and even within sectors, um, there are mixed, uh, there are really mixed uh, signals, and that this is a period where if you can identify the tide, I always talk about the tide, that is, if you can identify whether you're going up to high tide or you're coming down to low tide, that's really important because it allows you, when you're trading with the tide, if you are wrong, you're wrong just momentarily because the tide is going to get you back on track. So what's really important here is that although this is a fantastic move from the 32,272 low back around about the 24th of February, um, in terms of the waveform going to a peak A, then a B and a C and a D, normally you would see a much bigger uh, move in each of the legs to the upside. So what I'm very impressed we, it's the monthly chart in all of these instances that's going to be really important. How to be closed Thursday at 4 o'clock, because you know between now and then is a lifetime in this market. So far, I like what I see. Everything's moving just the way we wanted it to. But, you know, there are a lot of extraneous events that, that could change change the trajectory. So when you were talking about, I've got here, uh, let me, I haven't shown you this for a while. I've got this. This is the Chapman Wave automated um, support and resistance levels and you can see here in the dow 35561 is the next level of resistance uh, over here on the left you can see there were uh, 35900 and 35700s and then we turned uh, turn around uh, even at the top we made that top at 36000 uh, right there 36952 you had two um, resistance levels just above it. So how we how we get above in the next, not just the next few days going to the end of the month, going for about two weeks, if there's any chance of the Dow getting into the 35,008, 35,900s, that is really considering what, and this is what I've been talking to you about for some time, to consider all the things, the negative things, that this is including oil at just record highs, the, the wheat going to record highs, and uh, the war that's going on, uh, the interest rate factor. Look at this, the Dow, 36,952, this is the monthly chart. Make a peak E, we go under the 14 period moving average, and at this very moment, which is what, 3, 20, uh, 3.23 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday the uh, 29th, so far this candle looks good. But what's even more impressive, and I think you alluded to that a little earlier on, that it, it, the S&P, look, the S&P 48.18 down to 41.14, and here we are at 46.30. Um, I... I I don't know who could have thought of that when we were coming down and just two and a half weeks ago when things were looking so ugly that so far this month we could have this kind of a mood. So I'm not arguing. We've been long, only got long positions. We have, um, we actually have a couple of uh, very low price stocks that uh, I said besides the triple digit uh, positions that we would have. I also want to have single digits because they can give you a very nice percentage gains if you're in the right sector at the right time. So we've got one that's up about 5% today. So it's, it's very selective. Some, some stocks, you know, when you, look at, um, when you look at some of the brokerage area, not all of them are, are participating. And I usually like to think that the market really moving sharply would have um, the brokerage area moving very, very well. So there are some divergences, but I, I, I like what I'm seeing. If you look at the daily chart of the Dow, the MACD is very strong. It hasn't even started to turn down yet. Stochastic's flat at 97.61. That is fabulous. That's superb action. And as long as it stays flat and holds there, that's a big positive. On balance, volume is lagging somewhat. So that either is a very big positive because you have to wait for this blue line, the on balance volume, to go all the way to the top to get oversold. That would be a big positive. Or it's just telling you to be a little careful. So at this point, I'm thinking of it as just confirming that we are moving higher. So the day, the nine period is over the 14. We're way above the 200 period moving out. There are a lot of things to like here. And under these conditions, to actually have this kind of a rally um, for any of the bears, this must be an absolute shocker because uh, it's this quick mm -hmm. for sure. Straight and, line and that, move, man. <laughs> and, and, yeah, but not only that, in a certain way, they correct in thinking negatively. 
but they're not th correct in saying it, it impacts the market negatively because the market right now is actually shrugging off all the bad news. I think that that's usually a very good sign. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. I mean, you know, but you had the leg down. It, and the most deviant thing my take is it go all the way back up and then it blows off. I mean, you know, it, not, it doesn't have to blow off top. I'm just saying that this is what markets like to do, which is pretty wild, man. You know? and, and the other thing is in Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking for leg D uh, in a buy signal to buy mode. And this is still a leg B, a peak B in the S&P. And wow. that says we should somehow go above 48, 18, 62. And that would be a very big positive for the monthly chart. That would start leg C. And it should still be a D. Ride them, like, baby. Like Ride them. I love it. <laughs> Basil, thank you so much. Look forward to the show thank tomorrow. You, Thanks, thank man. You. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 319. You get the NASDAQ up 279. S&Ps are up 57. You get game out here, folks, in a big way. Now, folks, as you come over to TFNN, you are going to see right on the front page, okay, under featured content, the Tiger's Den Trading Room. This is really cool what we've put together here, okay? What we have is this, okay? You know, we always had a trading room. We used to do it through Hotcom. Bottom line, we were the one of the first ones out there with this years ago, right? Bottom line, we, get, we think we get a much better deal now. We have a room. It's only a dollar a year, okay? A dollar a year. Bottom line, great community of tigers and tigresses. A um, lot of great ideas out here. A lot of great charts. It's very easy to use, okay? We'd love you to check it out, so go come to the front page of TFNN, hit the button, you'll really enjoy yourself. 
But not only that, we, you know, the bottom line is that the markets are hot enough, folks, okay? This um, tigers den generates ideas on a continual basis. You know, you decide ones you like, you don't like, but the bottom line is that you have a lot of bright tigers and tigresses in there doing the work. We're all in there. Um, it's, a, it's a cool deal. What's really cool about it is this. So check this out. Before, you know, you just have to be on your, you know, computer, right? Now, guess what? Everything's on your phone, your computer, your tablet. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, check it out. It, you'll have a blast. And more than likely, you're going to make money. Um, because the, uh, well, your probability, let's put it this way. I would say your probability goes higher because of the amount of traders that we actually have in there. You can decide what ideas you want or don't want. Uh, but I suspect that you're going to basically... Uh, uh, do better, have uh, more sustainability, and uh, more consistency. So let's get over here. So you just go to the front page of TFNN, you hit the button, it's a buck, and you're in, and you're going to have a field day. Let's go take a look at deer. So deer, deer, is, you know, we pulled this up the other day. Deer is in a monster ABC structure on the way up. Now, deer is getting taken apart today, down 20 bucks. Okay, so we, let me see which one I had here on this. If this is a weekly or monthly, I think it's a monthly ABC up. If it's a monthly, it'd be great. Yeah, it is a monthly. Okay, cool. Okay, so the way to look at this, your B point on this is, okay, so your B point is that like 392 to 400. Now, that sounds like, okay, which one are you gonna pick? Well, it really doesn't matter, folks, okay? The most conservative way to pick this is that you say it's 392. There's two little spikes there. That's what's going on. So right now we're trading at 412. So if you're not in this, okay, the way to deal with this, this may turn into a complex ABC. We'll see. You let it get down to that level. That's, that's how I trade this right now. Um, you're down 20 bucks. What, what brought this thing down? Let's see what's happening here. Um, Okay, so you got uh, Investor Business Daily names stock as a sell. Okay, there you go. That's, that's enough to push it down. I'm not quite sure what that is, but bottom line, that's all right. That's, that's good, actually, okay? Now, we have, you have volume today, though, so I wouldn't bang on it today. Bottom line, you get tomorrow, you get somewhere down in this uh, 399 area, yeah, and you have a contraction of volume, I'd be all over it. That's the way that you want to trade this uh, baby out. Um, Let's see. Then we're going to look at Devron, DVN. Oh, that, I mean, if you're going to get Devron, buy it right now. It's down 10 cents. You got high volume highs out here at 63. And I, it's this, so the, way, the way I trade Devron right now is that you already rejected lower price. And what, you, what you're looking for, I put the stop right under today, which, which is Pretty cool, 5766, put it under there. You're looking for this to break highs. That's what you're looking at Devron. If we get over, let's go take a look at the oil patch because what ends up happening, all, there's no doubt that when we were just looking at the uh, aspect of uh, Devron, it's, a, it's the oil patch. Okay, so right now you were down $1.29. You have 367,000 contracts traded and you know, oil can go, this is a little consolidation. Oil, oil, oil can come down and test. Is that what it did today? One of us. That's 100. We, yeah, that's what it did. Interesting. Okay, but it tested with too much volume. I would, I would just, on, it wouldn't necessarily have to wait on Devron. I think oil, oil can pull back to $92.20 and basically not say a thing, meaning that it's still going to go to higher price. That, that's how that baby is set up right now. So, um, you know, the, the way that I would be looking at this market right now, this is something that you should wrap your head around, and this is what I've been talking about. These ABC structures inside the S&P and the NASDAQ, folks, are the, the best trades out there. That's, that's the reality. And there's, there's very few times in the marketplace that you actually get a shot at the size of these and the deviance of these. And, you know, I can understand. So my point is, is this. If you're going long stock, you should be looking basically just at the cues of the diamonds because they still get more juice into them. And I put the stop 
under wherever they're trading right now. Because what ends up happening is that the A to B is a straight line move, C to D is a straight line move. This is gonna be a straight line move going all the way up, Matt. Um, you know, this morning, what we had out here, when you see this, right, uh, let me bring this up, because this is applicable when you're bisecting and dissecting markets. Now, and this is something, folks, you know, I just brought up the Discord room. I was, I'm in that room all the time. I was in there this morning, okay? I'm always in there. I was saying, hey, man, we got the ABC structures up. This market could be up 2 to 3% today, okay? This is at 7, 7 o'clock this morning. Now, where I was getting that is right here. If you're watching Tiger TV right now, the correlations, okay, between the world are still there. And what we had out here is that last night, you know, the Asian markets, they were a little mixed here. The CSI down, but the rest of them were up about 1%. In Europe, the bottom line in Europe, man, they were up 2 to 3% across the board. The FTSE was only up 8 tenths of 1%. Other than that, though, the bottom line is that they were moving beyond belief. And what ended up happening is that our markets weren't up that much. That is a great setup in order to basically get in trades because that first expansion, meaning in between the European markets and our markets, most of the time, that's where it goes. This is a one world market. Now, what's gonna be cool tonight is this. Now, I don't have the volumes yet, but let me show you something, watch this. So, when you put up the DAX, the DAX in Germany, this is taking a B point out today. I'll have the volume, but I don't have it right now. Um, the bottom line is that if this is an ABC structure up also, then what you have is your probability gets much higher that, guess what, that our ABC structures in the United States are going to go to the highs. And what, you know, it's, you, you try to put as many pieces together as you can so that your probability of your trades are going to be in the green versus the red. And this is definitely a trader's market right now. There's no doubt. I mean, it's, it's a fast market. It's a cool market. It bounces. It does. It hits the FIB numbers. It does all of the above. Dow Industrials right now up to 337. You get the NASDAQ up 280. S&P's up 58. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's. Dow's up 317. Nasdaq's up 274. S&P's are up 56. Let's go to our man, Robert, in Kansas. Robert, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. Thanks for I calling, man. A, you bet. You bet. Hey, I have a kind of a general market question, just a kind of a bigger picture, just to get the, the lay of the land and get your thoughts on it. So if we go back two or three weeks ago, um, kind of the thinking was is, hey, we should get a bounce, and then it's going to go revisit the lows and maybe lower. And, hey, I was all on board. That that made sense to me. That's, I mean, that's what the the charts were looking like. But now I'm, I'm kind of following that category of people that you said, well, this this is blowing your mind. Well, it is. It's 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 gone up much higher than I thought. Do you think that that's what we're what you were talking about two or three weeks is off the table now and um, it's not going to go back and revisit the lows and maybe break lower? Do you think now we're kind of in a kind of a consolidation between the highs and lows or can you? Yeah, that's a great question. A and and I'm glad I am so glad that, that you called and explained exactly what I did say, because that's exactly what I said. And when I was saying that, I, it was blowing minds, but I felt like once it got going, I felt like, oh, man, hey, this is, we're going to go. And so when the ABC structure came in, it's like, okay, we're going to go, too. But my take is that, no, this, 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 is, this is a market that's in trouble, man. So my, my take is that what we're going to do is this, is that you're going to get up to the highs, and you're going to get more people in. There, there's got to be people going in right now that are saying, I can't believe this, okay? And then we're going to see this thing the first leg down after this can just, you know, it, I don't expect it will go lower than we went. But that's the, this would be the consolidation that's set up, and it's a great consolidation. It's a monster consolidation. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so this is kind of what you were, two or three weeks ago, you were talking about that. And I don't know if it's a bear market or what, so I don't want to put labels on it, but let's just say it's, it, it may trend down. You said it's, it, it'll give you maybe two or three or give you a couple, a few opportunities to get out, and right. this may be that. Right? right. That's correct. Right. I'm, okay, well, I'm, thank I'm you. in the camp that approximately seven or eight months from now, we're going to be in a good sized recession. That's where I'm at. Um, and I, I know, I listen, a lot of people will probably agree with you on that. Be I don't know. You know, there's a lot of people that don't. I mean, I'm just I, I mean, anecdotally, I'm, I'm talking to all my builder friends and all this, and I'm probably the only one that's bearish. Um, I've just been doing this long enough, man, that uh, if you if anyone thinks that you can go up on interest rates for, let's say, four, four and a half percent, which I think is going to happen. I mean, inflation is raging so bad that, you know, you can't go up a quarter percent, a quarter percent. That way, it's not going to do anything. And you and I and everyone else is going to get totally fed up with inflation, and we're going to want to throw everyone out, okay? <laughs> um, so if they no, start I, I agree. They're going to have to start probably doing 50 base point they increases. Are. And it's not, it doesn't, I mean, it would be the exception that they're able to orchestrate a soft landing without throwing us into a recession. I mean, that would be magic. <laughs> yeah. And then, and now, now listen to this. Now, now I'm going to give you something that's even, that's a little bit deviant, okay? So, economies in general, right? And the Fed in general, right? You know, they'll stretch it, stretch it, stretch it as long as they can, right? And then, when you can't stretch it any further, there's a, there's a train of thought, man, 
that saying, okay, hold it, we gotta rewind this whole thing. And if that's where the question is that we gotta rewind it, um, they just might, you know, lay into a recession, even though, you know what they're saying, you know, we're gonna do it again, we're gonna do it again, we gotta do it on the side of, you know, that, you know, odd dollars don't get destroyed. Um, and then it starts over again, man. You know, I, I you mean they may they, they may take all the, the liquidity out through, they will. you know, their bond buying. I mean, they, I, they've stopped their bond buying. Now the question is, is they have this big portfolio. What are they going to do with it? Just naturally let it attrition kind of waterfall. Off, yes. Or no, that, that they start selling it. No, no, no. They, they would not sell it. They, when it yeah, they, they're going to let that fall off. They've said they're going to let it fall off. So that, that's going to fall off. But my take is that between the, you know, so picture, there was plenty of money that was put into the economy, right? More than we've ever seen for a long period of time. That money's starting to dwindle, okay? That money has been swapping hands, you know, going through the economy, bottom line. Um, and I suspect in another seven or eight months, you know, when interest rates go higher, there's not gonna be as many people that, you know, can buy as many things, which slows things down. And, you know, we'll see, you know, I can be totally wrong, man, <laughs> but that's what I'm positioning for. Let's put it that way, you know. OK, and, and then you're thinking you call it uh, window dressing. It's kind of another name, maybe fun buying as well. That's that correct. Will, yes. kinda, will that close out by the end of this week, early next week, early next week? Yeah. OK. And I think when we look at the markets, you know, the, the markets are, you know, the super is so deep and it's unbelievable. So. I suspect the S&P will probably blow, blow its top, you know, get over the highs, the NASDAQ won't get there. And, you know, this very well, you know, so that's the bear argument. The bull argument, like when you start, you started off saying that, okay, are we just going to keep going? Well, if we do, that's going to be all about inflated prices. That even though that you have a higher number, you are not going to be able to buy as much. You know, and that's the scary part actually look at the markets, <laughs> you know, because guess what? Inflation 7.8%. What if it goes up to 12 and percent? Well, these, these stock prices will go up because it's just a higher number. It doesn't mean that we can buy more, you know? I had to throw yeah. that twist in yeah. there, man. The, the, the counter <laughs> would be they wouldn't, if it caused a recession, then it would pull, let the air out of the party. My, my take, and I remember the first time I ever heard this, you know, they say the Fed takes away the punch bowl. I really never knew what that really meant when I was 26, 27. And then, guess what I did? Because they took the punch bowl away. And I'm saying, hey, what happened here, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You know, well, they take away the punch bowl. Everything that depends on larger monies, folks, okay, depends on your signature. So if your signature doesn't get as much money in, in the marketplace, guess what? You can't be as productive. You're not gonna push as much through the marketplace. And then what you have, that's one side. The other side is that folks that have been too extended, okay? That's the whole thing when the tide starts going out, who has a bathing suit on and who's naked, okay? And that's all real, <laughs> man, you know? So it's gonna be oh. a wild one, man. <laughs> Hey, well, you have a great one. You Thanks also. for taking my call. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. And it, listen, folks, it's a tough call. That's, that's the bottom. It, well, it, let's put it this way. The way that I look at this is that if I'm wrong, it doesn't matter because you always have to protect yourself and protect everything you have. And if it goes up higher, so what? Okay? If I'm right, the bottom line is that what ends up happening is that you have more opportunities that come. That's, you know, after so many, you know, cycles in the marketplace, you can see like when you're a kid, you know, if, if you're a kid, you could, if you could ever have the brains that way you are when you're 60 or 70, as all the people tell us, oh well, man, that'd be freaking cool. You know, because the bottom line is that you can teach everyone what you can teach them. Going through the cycles and then understanding the fundamentals, whole different ball game, folks. Dow Industrials up 333, Nasdaq's up 265, S&P's up 57. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is up 278, Nasdaq's up 234, S&Ps are up 49. A couple great questions, let me answer, let me answer them. One of them was the, the aspect, okay, so, you know, Number one, we go on the highs. That's what I'm thinking. And then why do I think we're going back down? Because what we have here, folks, is this. Watch this. We bring the SPY up. You have high volume highs. High volume lows, rather. With volume. See them? A low volume high. Low, high volume lows. And when you get the high volume... So what happens is this. They love to be tested. And what I, where the kind of confirmation will come is how we hit this high. That's how the confirmation is going to come in. That is what would tell me what what is going on meaning um am i right in the context of uh where this whole baby is going so it's gonna be intriguing though there's no doubt about it man you know um i, I don't think we're in an environment though that you want to be paying 50 and 60 dollars for one dollar of earnings you know but it's it's gonna be intriguing uh, just in general um the if we go take a look at the 10 year for a second here, what you're gonna see, let me see, I'm gonna put this up in generic, because to me it looks like that we're going lower in a huge way, and this is the bounce, so you can take a look. If we put this, I'm gonna put this on, I just put it on a monthly. So you're gonna see the break number one, it was a monster break, okay? Um, you know, and this is telling me that we're gonna break the 117, you're at 122, if we break the 117, bottom line, we're going to be back to 104. 104 was uh, 2007, you know? 
So this is going to get really intriguing watching how this whole thing shakes out. And I remember, you know, the bottom line, when Greenspan, you know, you know, it was before he brought rates down because in 98, him and Ruben, uh, the bottom line, they brought rates down in the middle of the day. It's, well, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3.15 to be exact. They brought him down to half a point. But prior to that, Greenspan went up on rates a quarter point, like, eight times in a row. Like, you just knew that every time. But guess what? Bang, that squeezed the market, too. And then that, that really squeezed the market. Oh, who's your member, folks? The back and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, folks, 9 o'clock. Don't forget about Discord. Come to our trading room. Be in our community, man. It's an awesome community, man. Have a great one, folks.